good evening everyone we are the members of group 7 and we will be presenting the topic business models of e-commerce these are the contents which we are going to discuss in our presentation i am ankita choudhury role number 9113 and i will be introducing our topic firstly to know about business models of e-commerce we need to know what e-commerce stands for e-commerce or electronic commerce is a business model that not only lets different on businesses to sell their products online but it also helps us as consumers to make purchases we must all have for at least once shopped online nowadays we can not only order our goods online we can pay online and we can also track our packages online so we are all part of the e-commerce living in this present society now this e-commerce is built on basically four business models the four of them are b2b that is business to business model business to consumer model b2c next comes consumer to consumer model c2c and the next is consumer to business model c2b in today's presentation we will be focusing on two of the business models business to business and business to consumer now the business to business b2b model so b2b is a form of transaction between businesses now i would like to highlight this point it's b2b business to business which means we are directly not related to any individual consumer for example i can consider one particular business selling its items to another business or for example amazon so that amazon can sell the products online to individual customers so that is b2b whereas if i am ordering something from amazon a product for example that is not b2b because i am an individual consumer so this is completely related to business a manufacturer and a wholesaler or it might be between the wholesaler or a retailer so now we can conclude that we have different marketing forms the software as a service if we consider the cloud computing models we have businesses that can supply their goods to other private businesses and we can also consider certain public sector organizations or the government organizations in the business to business companies now the question is how is business to business model promoted firstly the company sites we are all aware of different uh, online e-commerce websites as i mentioned already the uh, amazon there are many other sites for example mintra and blinkit and many others so these company sites are directly available to us as consumers also and in fact to other businesses who are promoting their goods online in the amazon business for example and the second way is product supply and procurement exchange now this is the part which is not as such visualizable to us as the consumers because uh, we are not wholesalers or uh, retailers right now so these are much, this platform that is product supply and procurement exchange is much more visible to the wholesalers or the retailers or the dealers on the large scale of business now comes the characteristics of the business to business model firstly as i already mentioned it's from business to business so a small audience is involved we can consider the supply business to have 20000 people and the uh, business which is receiving the products or the goods having for example 20 to 30000 people whereas if we consider the entire indian population then it can consider we can consider a huge number of consumers so as a result when it's from business to business we have a small audience involved next is the informative content about the product itself again it also involves a long buying cycle and a very important point is business to business model is value driven it basically is based on the quantity the quality the price next is focused on lead generation which refers to that not only one business but different other businesses should also adopt from one particular business next less focus on relationships as i already mentioned a business is not here to deal with the direct consumers so as a result a business to business supply and demand is enough and next we have efficiency and productivity it is based on the market demand so if the market demand is more naturally the price of the product is going to increase and the companies who are selling and delivering the products need to do it much more efficiently and productively so as in the image we can see b2b has not only business but marketing raw materials sales supply chain sub components transactions and the market demand the most important point now 
comes the marketing strategy of the B2B model. So firstly, we have the business goal. A company who is selling out the products to another business will definitely have a business goal. Will definitely have a particular sales to be carried on for a particular month or for an annual year, and that too with respect to different other businesses. So business goal is the first uh, step which has to be taken. The next step is marketing strategy. By marketing strategy, we mean we, uh, the company needs to the businesses need to decide as to which product they are going to uh, sell and that too on which scale. So marketing strategy is extremely important to be developed. The third stage we have activity prioritization, which actually refers to the different activities that need to be charted upon. For example, the company needs to look after its competitors, learn from them, and also create its unique characterization to stand out of them. And it also requires to look after the businesses who are actually going to deliver its products to directly the consumer. Next, the fourth step is activity plan, where everything gets planned. Uh, by everything, I mean the budget gets planned with respect to the market. The content marketing is done, and the advertising is done with respect to that. The time. The schedule for the entire production and delivering of the product is done. And last and final step is the execution of the plan, which we can see in our different websites, the different companies who are using the B2B model. As we are also, when we are shopping online or when a particular business is getting things online from another business, they are basically executing the plan. Now come certain B2B model examples. There are many companies, but I have only included some of them in this particular image. We have Amazon, we have General Electric, we have Alibaba, Quill, Walmart, and a lot more. So now the next team member will be explaining Amazon Web Services as the B2B model case study. Hello, I am Tonjima. I will talk about Amazon B2B e-commerce. Amazon B2B, uh, uh, Amazon business is a marketplace to serve the needs of business customers. So it is the, uh, provides the purchasing solutions for registered business to buy business supplies on Amazon through the platform. Businesses of any size, wholesalers and manufacturers can buy can buy and sell to each other and receive discounts based on quantities ordered. The platform facilities, the management of business operations, giving administrators control over account users and features. Here, the marketplace greater geared toward corporate buyers is on pace to generate uh, more than 10 billion in sales volume this year. Benefits of choosing Amazon B2B e-commerce uh, is uh, quickly quick and easily reach high volume buyers, offer a unique product catalog only available to business buyers, greater control over your seller account metrics uh, by only selling to specific B2B buyers with select candid credentials and certifications. Amazon B2B uh, commerce uh, key features, business accounts, buy through uh, procurement software apps, approval workflow. Here, uh, business accounts, a seller can add thousands of individual buyers or groups of buyers authorized to place orders under the same account to monitor spending patterns and behavior of each buyer. Best practices uh, to optimize the payment flow on a B2B marketplace, offer a variety of payment options, allow for payment in installments, use credit as a service platform, provide flexible uh, pricing, include price negotiations option, give price codes to non-registered users. Next slide will continue my another group member. Good evening, sir. My name is Rahul Kumar Gupta. I will be explaining the concept of business to consumer BTC model. So, B2C model sought for business to consumer is a retail model where product move directly from a business to the end user who has purchased the goods or services for personal use. 
it is often contrast with the business to business model which involves exchanging goods and services between business instead of between businesses and consumers the term b2c is applicable to any business transaction where the customer directly receives goods or services such as retail stores restaurants and doctor offices most often it refers to e-commerce businesses which use online platform to connect their product with consumers while some b2c businesses use their platform to market and sell their own products others make money by connecting buyers to sellers using content traffic to sell advertisement space or restricting to content to paid subscription among e-commerce like amazon and ebay other usual b2c companies In this slide, we discuss the characteristics of the business to consumer model. So, the B2C business model focuses on selling and marketing between a business and a non-business consumers who buys the product for a personal use. Uh, explain a at a Zeno Republic small business portal. It often involve, involves directly selling to the consumers, such as via an e-commerce websites. A lower purchase volume of higher price products typically characterized by B2C companies. If the model depends on the individual transaction and eliminate the wholesaler, the company can make a higher profit while the consumer spends the same amount of money or sometimes less. B2C is effective for smaller companies than the individual consumers are not concerned with company reorganization as they are with getting the product for the best price. These are the characteristics of the B2C model. and the b2c model marketing strategy is uh, b2c market strategy help you prepare for sales anticipate response and uh, track uh, progress and today online uh, e-commerce uh, it is expanding the uh, b2c commerce is synonyms with the e-commerce so let's look at nine of the most effective b2c marketing strategies first one is connect with prospects on a human level so in this the uh, if we are fo uh, we focus on building relationship with our uh, uh, customer and teams say we treat like a human beings not like potential atms who will dispense cash for our product next is host reactive and uh, uh, engaging contest everyone loves a contest and uh, idea of winning sometimes for free in almost too attractive to pass up and uh, it and entry does not require much effort or time and uh, third one is add a free offer with every uh, purchase also known as uh, which gift will purchase a free offer with every purchase adds even more value to the product you sell and uh, and fourth one is uh, and searcher intent of our ceo many entrepreneurs fail to consider searcher and uh, intent when they optimize their content for seo so we assume that all google searches for instance are the same and uh, fifth one is run uh, retargeting programs retargeting sounds like a difficult concept but it actually pre pretty simple uh, it's all about the reconnecting with the consumers who have connected with the business in the past it's particularly <coughs> relevant to b2c marketing and the uh, sixth one is create membership program think of the membership program as form of gamifications and it encourages consumer to interact with their business so they can rise up in the membership level and the uh, uses social media many brand have achieved amazing success using social media some of them advertise on social while other they can organize approach and uh, build micro influencer relationship and last one is invest in mobile first uh, marketing the world is moving in a mobile first direction many people don't own laptop or desktop computer anymore so they do all their computer by tablets phones and even watches and uh, these are the b2c model example there are many factor to consider we are choosing to the commerce uh, platform these are salesforce uh, of one uber amazon google next slide describe my friend sovik Good evening, sir. I'm Shavik Day, role number nine one zero seven, and I'll be talking about the Salesforce B two C Commerce. So, Salesforce B two B two B Commerce B two C Commerce is a cloud based B two C e commerce platform for building and launching digitally operated storefronts, 
compatible with various applications and devices, it is optimized to provide a great shopping experience regardless of the device the customer uses. The platform also provides many value-added features like an AI, that is artificial intelligence function, that helps marketers by recommending the perfect products to customers based on their preferences. So why does uh, Salesforce, uh, Salesforce the B2 uh, seek e-commerce? So selling online has become a necessity in an increasingly digital world. Even if we sell through brick and mortal uh, stores, we need to establish an online presence too. So the consumer or the customers can research the products thoroughly before they buy. Now I'll be talking about the benefits of choosing Salesforce B2C Commerce. So Salesforce B2C Commerce is easy to set up, launch and maintain while providing a great experience for customers to shop from the digital store. It helps uh, to scale your business through an easy to use platform that integrates well with other applications, both inside and outside the Salesforce ecosystem. So some of the benefits of choosing Salesforce B2C Commerce Cloud are First, mobile friendly ordering. So there is a growing trend among uh, consumers to shop using their smartphones. Mobile storefronts dominate the e-commerce industry by giving customers an easy way to order online. Second is enhanced personalized buying experience. Salesforce for e-commerce leverages an AI powered tool called Sense, uh, Salesforce Einstein to improve customer experience via personalized product recommendations. Third is managing end-to-end -end B2C uh, business requirements. Salesforce for e-commerce does not just help manage an online uh, storefront. It also uses the Salesforce ecosystem of products to help guide the end-to-end -end sales journey, include marketing to uh, the right uh, customer, providing us a uh, smooth shopping experience, tracking the uh, order and etc. Fourth is handling globalization. So if your business is ready to sell internationally, the Salesforce e-commerce platform can help you launch your digital storefront in different countries. So we can manage a separate uh, catalog of products for each country and handle uh, multiple languages, processes and payment options effortlessly. Last but not the least is effective customer support. So Salesforce B2C uh, Commerce Cloud lets you offer uh, high-end customer support to its connected CRM platform. B2C businesses often need to interact directly with consumers to address concerns over a support call or chat. So uh, some of the key features of Salesforce B2C Commerce are first is digital storefront. So uh, when setting up an e-commerce website, a visually appealing storefront is a must. Designing the site is easy with Page Designer, which is a drag and drop tool that makes uh, building pages easy with just clicks and no code. Second is multiple site management feature. For businesses selling products in multiple countries, Salesforce B2C Commerce helps create and manage additional geo-specific sites quickly and easily. Third is merchandising and marketing tools for promoting business. B2C Commerce on Salesforce comes equipped with various merchandising and marketing capabilities. Drawing on the power of AI, Salesforce B2C Commerce can help businesses provide personalized buying experiences to their customers. Fourth is single platform service. So Salesforce B2C Commerce Cloud enables businesses to operate efficiently across multiple channels. This lets companies simultaneously manage more than one brand. Fifth is B2C Commerce APIs. So Salesforce uh, B2C Commerce uh, offers APIs, which is an application programming interface, to connect with third-party applications like software, uh, social media extensions for uh, Instagram and Facebook. We can also use them with applications like ERP systems, payment processing systems, and order management systems. Best practices for getting the most out of Salesforce B2C Commerce platform. So creating and launching the Salesforce B2C Commerce Cloud tool is only one piece of the puzzle. To get the most out of this powerful platform, it is important to follow 
some best practices as recommended by Salesforce Consulting. So uh, we'll talk about some most important uh, best practices to keep in mind when we implement and maintain uh, the store, uh, the online storefront. So the first one is use page designer, app exchange apps and out of the box feature as much as possible. So basically we build our uh, storefront using page designer and out of the box features to accelerate the deployment of our um, online store. We'll also get uh, good value from using as many features as possible since we make setup much easier than we uh, than if you have customized every aspect of your online store itself. Second is the get the help of an experienced Salesforce consulting partner. So Salesforce recommends getting the help of an experienced Salesforce consulting partner or uh, Salesforce uh, professional service to implement your online store. Third is integrate with other App Exchange applications. So apps from the Salesforce App Exchange can provide ready-made solutions to jump start your uh, B2C commerce journey. Last but not the least, I will conclude this presentation by talking about the uh, difference between B2B and B2C. So uh, B2B is the selling of the goods and services between two businesses, uh, business entities, it is called as business to business or B2B. Whereas uh, B2C is the transaction in which uh, business sells the goods and services to the consumer. It is also called as business to consumer or B2C. In B2B the con customer is the company whereas in B2C the customer is the end user. B2B focuses on relationship whereas B2C focuses on product. The quantity of merchandise in uh, B2B is large whereas the quantity of merchandise in B2C is small. The buying and the selling uh, cycle in B2B is lengthy whereas uh, the buying and selling cycle uh, of B2C is short. The buying decision of uh, B2B is planned and logical which is may, uh, mostly based on needs. Whereas the buying decision of uh, B2C is emotional and is based on what uh, we want and desire. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very good presentation.